What gives you unlimited motivation? I don't believe in motivation as a concept. I believe in discipline and divine purpose. People who ask about motivation are basically saying, I don't feel like doing this. How do I feel like doing this? And the answer is, the true red pill is, you're never gonna feel like doing it all of the time. Sometimes you're not going to want to do it. Doesn't matter what it is. If I were to tell you to go fucking surfing or skateboarding or driving a Ferrari every day, there's gonna be days you wake up where you just don't feel like doing it, no matter how fun it is. That's life. But if you do not do it when you don't feel like doing it, you will never perform against the person who does it regardless of how they feel. You have to make a decision. Forget about the idea of motivation, forget about the concept of it, throw it away, and decide who you are. And this is a genuine task for you all to complete. Go look in the mirror, look into your own eyes, and decide. Am I a fucking loser, or am I a winner? Because if you're only gonna do what you feel like doing, you are a loser. That is the definition of a loser. A man who only feels, does what he feels like doing is going to lose against the people who perform regardless. If you lose, what are you? A fucking loser. I decided I was a winner, and I knew what it took to win. To win, I have to perform day after day, so I decided I'm going to do this every day, regardless of how I feel. Some days I'll enjoy it, some days I won't, some days it'll be fun, some days it won't. But I'm gonna do it every single day to the best of my ability. I will not allow my emotional state to affect my actions. That's what winners do. Because let's say you're a professional fighter and you've agreed to fight on the 13th of July. That day comes around. You might feel like fighting. You might feel like kicking someone's ass. You might not feel like fighting. You might be a little bit sick. But it's the day, the arena's booked, you have to fight. So you don't get to say, well, I don't feel like it now. You don't get to lose and tell people, well, I didn't feel like it on that day. You just have to do it. You have to be good enough on your worst day to beat your opponent on his best day. It might be your worst day, it might be his best day. You still have to fight and you still have to win. That's the game. So when people ask me about motivation, I make it very clear, I say, listen, motivation has nothing to do with any of this. This is about who you are. It's about your purpose, your divine purpose given to you, dictated by God. Are you the kind of person who lives a life worth living or are you a fucking loser? Now, watching this, there's gonna be some of you which fall into each category. You're not all winners, you're in the right place. But some of you are probably still lazy losers. That's the reality. Listen to this video, take 10 minutes out of your life, go look in the mirror, look yourself deep in the eyes, look at yourself and decide. Are you a fucking loser? Because if you're a fucking loser, you can go read and watch a bunch of shit about motivation to try and convince yourself to do a little bit of work. Or are you a winner? Because if you're a winner, you don't give a fuck how you feel. Work needs doing and it must be done. But truthfully, it doesn't matter if it's getting a girl or it's making money or it's getting status. It doesn't matter what it is. As a man, we live in hyper-competitive environments. I don't think enough men understand how competitive the world is. If you want a girl, you're competing against other men. You're not the only man who had the idea of getting that girl. There's no girl you're going to see and go, oh, I'll get that girl and didn't cross anyone else's mind. Everybody else wants her. You have to outcompete other men. You have to be as competitive as possible. You have to be as successful as possible in all realms. You have to be as good looking, as funny, as smart, as spontaneous, as interesting, as charismatic as rich as possible. You need to try very hard to be your absolute best. And as you become a better man, you'll crack through different tiers of attractiveness and eventually you get to the top and you'll be able to have any girl you want. But the truth is, I have a lot of guys ask me, similar to your question, a guy will come to me and go, how do I get a girl? My like, bro, you're a loser. Yeah, but I know, but how do I get a girl? Well, you're a fucking loser. You're a loser. Why are you asking me? It's like saying, how do I win a race with a push bike? You're racing Ferraris. What do you want me to do? Yeah. There's only so much you can do. There's only so hard you can pedal. There's only so many tricks and, and tips. There's only so many game things you can say, yeah. so many pickup lines. If you're a loser, it's gonna be very, very difficult and it's gonna get harder and harder. The game is rigged to become harder and harder for men. It's not getting easier, it's going the other way. And if you're gonna be on a racetrack and there's gonna be Ferraris there, and you're gonna be on a pedal bike or in a Nissan, you're gonna get smoked. That's the game. You have no. to up yourself. You have to improve yourself. I'm not going to lie to anybody here and say you don't have to improve yourself. You can stay a loser and, and get chicks because you can't. I can't imagine truly wanting to quit something and not being able to quit. Like I could quit cigars today. Like it wouldn't even plague my mind. Like if I wanted to quit, I'd quit. I, I can't imagine a, a mind frame or a mindset where I want to do something and can't do it. Life is hierarchical. There's always going to be kings and there's always going to be peasants. If you have a mind that you can't control, then you're never going to be a king. You're going to be a peasant. That's your life. You have a peasant's life ahead of you, and that's your, that's your destiny. Enjoy, right? There's always been peasants. That's life. But I, I believe that I mean, the most important thing you can do as a man 
is, is to gain control of your own, is to gain control of your mind. Once you have control of your mind, life is so ridiculously easy. It's, it's so ridiculously easy. It's so easy to be in. People say to me, Tate, you're in good shape. All you do is drink vodka and travel the world. You're never even home. You never even have a gym. How do you do it? It's ridiculously easy if you control your mind. If I decide to do a thousand push-ups, I'll do them. Maybe I have to do them one at a time. Maybe I'll get tired. Maybe I need a break. I'm going to do a thousand because I said I'm going to do a thousand. It's not fucking hard. Everyone knows what they're supposed to do. Once you control your mind, it's easy, right? Getting over a breakup with that bitch. You miss that girl. You're upset. You miss her with all your heart. Da, da, da. But once you realize she's gone, if you control your mind, she's gone now. She's gone now. I'm going to miss her. That's a shame. Off to the gym. You, you either control your mind or you don't. And, and this, all of these things stem from the same problem. It's something you can do. It's something that is learned. It's something that is taught. But it's, it, it's something that I needed to survive. So for me, it's easy, right? It's all I've ever known. Right. But people have like, you know, they don't need it to survive, so they never develop the skill. That's just how it works. At the end of World War II, when men, seen, seen, when men went to Europe and saw unspeakable horrors at the end of World War II, did they all come home and need therapy or did they all come home and get back to life? Get back to life. Because, because that was, everyone was taught to have a mind that they controlled because they needed it to survive. There's no one else. That's, that's how life worked back then. Now imagine there was a war that big. Imagine the fucking therapy, the fallout, the fucking bullshit. No one would be able to fucking even just go back in. And I'm not, and I'm not saying they didn't see bad things. I'm not saying it's not hard. It's fucking horrible. But that's just how, that's how it works. That's life. Like I've seen shit. Like uh, we've all had our trauma. You have to get through it. You either let it destroy you, you ever, or let it build you. Have you ever been in love before? Completely. I believe in love. I believe in love. I believe in men and women being in love. I believe in finding a woman and loving her with all my heart. I'm not going to let her fucking make, take the piss out of me. I'm not going to let her walk over my standards or my, my boundaries. I'm a man. I love you with all my heart. And I said, you're not going to the club with your girls. I want to go. I want to go. Cool. Then we're over. And I will love you while I don't see you. I might still love you a little while, but I, fuck you. That's the last the line. You overstepped the line. Goodbye. That's life. I can love a bitch and ignore her texts. Watch me. I can be head over heels in love and still ignore her ass for breaking my rules. Because I set the rules because I'm a man. It's my world. You step into my world. I don't step into your world. You step into my world. You're never going to win 100% of the time. You might love a bitch and lose her. Cool, but you might love a bitch and keep her. If I let her go to the club with her girls all the time, how long is it until she meets a new dude and cheats on me anyway? Sooner or later. You're going to lose her anyway, so why not lose her as a man sticking to your fucking guns instead of losing her seven months later behind your back? Stick up for your fucking self. But this is it. But people are so scared of the emotions. That's all it is. No one's going to shoot them in the head. They're scared of the emotions of missing her. You're a full grown man. You're scared of some emotions. Sit in bed and be sad and fucking play your chess and go to the gym and be sad and lift your weights and be sad for a while and do your shit. Till you're not sad anymore. The fuck? You're scared of emotions to the point you let a bitch run your fucking life. It's insane. And this is the world we're in today.